Amen. And praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made, and I pray you are rejoicing and you are glad in it. Listen, this is Pastor Wiggins of the New Horizons Church, and I'm excited that you joined in on these daily devotionals. It is my prayer, it's my hope to inspire you to spend time in the Word of God. Why? Because there is power, hallelujah, in the Word of God. And today, I want to share with you a passage of Scripture that will help you in spiritual warfare as you try to battle against the the enemies that come your way today out of Ephesians chapter six and verse 14 and following. Here's what the word says. Ephesians chapter six, verse 14 says, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may be able to open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Verse 17 again says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Listen, whether you know it or not, whether you are aware of it or not, whether you believe it or not, we are all in a spiritual battle. We are in spiritual warfare. The word of God says we fight against not flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness, principalities, evil in high places. And when you and I are trying to do battle, Paul tells us we need to put on the whole armor of God. No warrior would go into battle, no smart warrior that is, without putting on his or her armor. He says, put on the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. He says, take with you the shield of faith and put on the helmet of salvation. And then there in 17, verse 17, he says, and carry with you the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Since we're in spiritual warfare, that means we have to rely on the spirit, the Holy Spirit, to do our battles for us. And what we give him to fight with determines the outcome for our spiritual battles. He says, give him the word of God in your life. When you and I read the word of God, meditate on the word of God, remember the word of God, hide it in our hearts. Then when the spirit needs to do battle on your behalf, you've given him something to fight with in your life. That means when you and I are in our battles and the heated moments that we go through during the day, God's word is in us and the spirit can bring it up and we can use that word in order to get the victory. That's why it's important to spend time even in your peaceful moments, your private time early in the morning when there's nobody bothering you, nobody talking to you, nobody distracting you to get that word in you because you never know what battle you're going to face around the corner. And when you're in battle, That's not the time to be looking for your sword. That's not the time to be looking for your battle weapon. You need to have it at the ready. You need to have it on hand. You need to have it where it needs to be. And it needs to be hidden in your heart. It's the sword of the spirit. It's the word of God. Study God's word. You're in a warfare. It's not against your neighbor. It's not against your family member. It's not against your friend. It's not even against your foe. It's spiritual. And the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Study the word today. Let God get the victory for you today by staying in his word. Listen, I'll be back tomorrow. I want you to be encouraged. Be victorious. God bless.